So let's go over how you can curve your text using Adobe Illustrator. In order to curve text in Illustrator, you're going to need a curved path to place the text on. And the way that we're going to create that path is by using the curvature tool, which is located over here, or you could access it by pressing the shift and tilde key on your keyboard. So with this tool activated, I'm just going to click on the canvas and create a few points to create a nice little curved line like that. And once I'm finished, I'm going to press the escape key to finalize it. So this right here represents the path that I'm going to flow my text along. To do this, I'm going to hold a click over the type tool over here, and I'm going to look for where it says uh, type on a path tool. I'm going to select the type on a path tool, and with this tool enabled, I'm going to ho hover my cursor over the path and click on it like that, and it's going to place some text along the path there, as you can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change this text here to say curve your text. And if you want to change the font and the size and all of the other properties, what you could do is you could triple click on the text to select all of it. And then you can come up here and change your font if you'd like. I'm going to use the Montserrat font for this demonstration. And if you want to make your text larger, you could just hover your cursor over the uh, size status bar over here and just roll up your mouse wheel like that. And if you come over here to your selection tool, you should notice that you have three faint blue lines along this path here. This blue line over here to the left represents the start point of the text. So if I move this all the way to the left over here, it brings the start point of the text over to the left. This line over here represents the end point of the text. So if I bring this end point before the text ends, it'll cut off that word there like that. Let me go ahead and undo that. And then finally, we have the line in the middle right here. This represents the placement of the text on the path. You can use this to adjust the position. You can also use this line to move your text to the other side of the path. So let's say you want your text to flow along the bottom of the path over here. What you can do is you can just take this line and click and drag it over the other side like that. And now you end up with that result right there. So let me go ahead and undo that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to place this line exactly at the start point, And I'm going to place this line exactly at the end point. And now I'm going to go back over here to my type tool. I'm going to tri uh, triple click on this text to select it all. And over here, you can use the alignment to place it in the center. You could place it at the right, place it at the left, or whatever else you want to do. And I'm just going to make this text a little bigger like that. And if you want to add some space between your letters, you could just hold the Alt key and press right on the arrow key. Or if you want to remove space between the letters, you could hold Alt and press left on the arrow key like that. And if you're a Mac user, that would be Option. So hold the Option key and do that. So let me remove some of this space. Let me make this a little bigger. And once you're finished, you can grab the selection tool, click off of it to deselect everything. Now, if you want to edit the path after you've curved your text along it, what you could do is you can grab the direct selection tool and go ahead and click on your text. And now you can select these individual anchor points and move them like that. And your text will follow the curvature or the updated curvature of the path as you do that. So I think that should do it for this tutorial. That is how you can curve your text using Adobe Illustrator. If you found this lesson useful, then consider checking out my Illustrator Explainer series. It's a collection of over 100 videos where I go over all of the tools and features in Adobe Illustrator, and I explain what they are and demonstrate how they work, kind of like how I did in this video. We even have a private community where you can ask questions and get help from me anytime you want. I'll have some information about that down below if you want to check that out. As always, thanks for watching.